Welcome to expert tips for pruning your orchid flower spikes. This is an important skill for anyone who wants to be able to rebloom their orchids. After your orchid has finished blooming, then you want to cut the flower spike so that you can help initiate a new growth cycle that has roots and leaves and then culminates in another flower spike. The supplies that you'll need is just an orchid that needs to be rebloomed, um, something sharp. I have these pruning shears right here. It could also be a single use razor blade or some other type of pruner. And you'll also want something that you can use to sanitize the shears. And this is a really important and often overlooked step. So I like to use this kitchen torch right here. You can also use rubbing alcohol. The best time to prune your orchid flower spike is when all of the flowers have faded or if the flower spike has just grown too long and gangly and you're ready to start a new growth cycle. I have eight Phalaenopsis orchids right here that we're going to prune and then you'll be able to get a really good idea on how to do this because each orchid is its own scenario. So I'm going to start with this one right here and you can see that the flower spike is brown and that means that it is dead. Okay, first I will sanitize the shears. And I'm going to take the orchid. I'm going to go down to the base right here. It's completely dead. So just snip it down at the bottom. There it goes. One down, seven to go. I just want to briefly explain why I want to sanitize and why it's so important. And that is because this is how viruses are spread. It can also spread other bacteria and fungus, but most importantly, we want to avoid spreading a virus. And viruses are spread kind of like how they are between people. Like if we have saliva or anything like that, that cross contaminates between person to person, it's the same way that they are spread between orchids. So if there's any type of plant juices that get on these pruning shears and then I prune the next orchid, then it will spread the virus to the next orchid. So it's really important. I don't think any of my orchids are sick, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sanitize these shears again. Okay, so this one has been repotted recently. It's still kind of loose in the pot, but it has three flower spikes. Um, two of them are still green. One of them is brown, but I'm going to just prune them all down, right down to the base. So I'm gonna get right down here. One. Two. And the last one right there. Okay, so we can see that there's a new leaf growing right there at the top, and then I have an old leaf that's fading. It's turned yellow. I'm just going to snip that off. Okay, again, I'm going to sanitize the shears. And this one's a little bit different than the others. Okay, so you can see right here that there is another bud it's growing but I don't want this to just keep growing and growing and growing so I'm just going to snip it off there are some species phalaenopsis orchids and if you have a species you'll know it if you bought it from the grocery store you don't likely have a species orchid but if you do have a species they can keep blooming and blooming and blooming on the flower stalk and you don't want to cut those ones off. So if you have a Phalaenopsis balina, for example, then you wouldn't want to prune it. But if you have a hybrid Phalaenopsis that you got from the grocery store, then you'll want to prune it. I mean, I could leave it if I wanted this right here. There's two actually buds on the end, but I would rather initiate a new flower spike then let this one continue to grow and grow and get longer so that's why i'm going to cut it there we go and prune it 
it. So this one has the spike. Right here. And it does look like it could continue to bloom off the tip there, but it would be much prettier to have a nice arch of flowers. So I'm going to just print it off. Okay, so this one is growing right here at the bottom. And we've got another one right here. There we go. Ready to sanitize. This is a very similar scenario to some of the others. So a flower spike has turned brown, but you can see that I trimmed it back right here a while back and it just grew a new flower spike off the end. So if it has finished blooming and you want to cut it back to a notch when it's still bright green, then you could get a new one. So it has one, two. So the original flower spike was like that. One, two, and then there's the third flower spike. So if you trim them while they're still healthy and green, trim them back, then you can potentially get more flowers. Here's another one that had that same scenario. So you can see that here's a main flower step spike right here, and then it was trimmed right here. And then a new flower spike grew here and a new one grew right here. So it was trimmed right here where my thumb is and then a new arc of flowers grew. There are options that can help you to get more flowers off the same stock. So I'm gonna prune these, both of these down at the base right there. There we go. This orchid looks like it's ready for repotting. It's pretty wild. And I'm just going to cut down here at the bottom. There we go. You can see some new roots growing. One right there, and another one right there. And if you see this dark spot right there, I think that the stem got a little bit sunburned. So that's what that looks like right there. I think it's a little sunburn. Just want to make sure I sanitize my shears. This is see all those aerial roots that are growing, but I'm going to go deep into here, into the crown, snip, and snip, and one more, snip. Okay. Hopefully this one will rebloom again for me because it's so gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so when you do this, the only thing you can really mess up is not sanitizing your shears. Always, always, always. So be clean when you hygiene is always first and foremost when you cut your orchid flower spikes so that you can grow healthy orchids without diseases. So that's a really, really important thing. I can't overemphasize how important it is to just use good hygiene when you are pruning your orchids. As far as where you trim it back, the best thing is to trim it back to the very base 
or if you have a nice green flower spike that's just barely finished blooming, then you can go back to where the flowers started to grow, cut back there, and you can see if it will bloom again. So that is a possibility, and if it doesn't, if it just grows another flower spike from the base, then you're really not out anything. So that's just a personal choice. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you will like and subscribe and watch more videos to learn how to care for your orchids. Always remember, if you would like personalized care, you are welcome to go to our online community. It's called Orchid Buds, so you are welcome to join Orchid Buds. If you are interested in personalized help and special classes and events for members only.